Hey guys, this is Captain Pound LP. Welcome to another edition of the Super Mario Bros. 1, the walkthrough. In this last episode, we completed Worlds 5 and 6 and had a lot of discussions about various topics about video games. And the person who I did the discussions with are, is with me today. Hello everyone, I'm Rich LP. And we're going through the last two worlds. Um, this is going to be the last episode you'll see of Mario 1 because... Really, there's not much to the second quest of this because it's just more of a repeat of the harder levels. Of, and it, what, what will happen is the Goombas will disappear, they'll turn into Buzzy Beetles, and everything is going to be a 1 4 will be like um, 6 4, and 2 4 is going to be like 5 4. I mean, it's just going to be madness. <laughs> yeah, difficulty just fucking spiked up with those boat, like two Hammer Brothers there. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't expect that. Just really random. Yeah, they're going to pick it up on the Hammer Bros because um, even though Seven Two is going to be light, just like um, Two Two, they're going to throw in some more octopuses, the more bloopers, and as a bonus, yes, more <laughs> secrets. Yeah, just. Hmm. Uh, not much to that right there. Just now, a lot of these pipes that you go down, probably starting with the World Five, they're not going to take you far. You know, you they're, think they're, they're just for like bonuses and stuff yeah, for sex, uh, extra coins and lives yeah, mainly. They're, yeah, they're not going to take you far. Of course, I messed up right there, but I don't worry about it because I just because like a boss, I go uh, through Mario. Uh, Super Mario through the underwater level, which is pretty much suicide, but you know, oh. I'll just show it to you anyway because I know how to play this game <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> cool. And that was a really short level for uh, like the in one of the ending worlds there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it. Well, they threw in some extra, some more Hammer Bros, so that's the, they're turning that's up. Yeah, their difficulty spike. But nothing will compare to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, God. Oh, I will never forget that. That was, uh, 55 minutes, I believe, wasn't it? Uh, well, the... Whenever I did the stream, yeah. Because I was, yeah. like, a fi uh, doing just the perfect run. Yeah, it was oh. just... Because uh, I, I did one stream with just the, um, the ultimate test. And then... The, then I, because he had all the checkpoints and everything, but with a perfect run, yeah, that took me about an hour just to, you know, get it together and beat it finally. And I hate the Boomerang Brothers; those are the worst. I tell ya. Oh, those things are really annoying. Um, <laughs> thank God I've like never had to play through it. I played through like the whole first game, Super Mario Galaxy, mm -hmm. and. uh like, I'll probably be doing another playthrough of it relatively, like, soon, maybe. I don't know. All depends. Oh, my bro and Hammer... My bro and I Hammer... My bro Hammer... <laughs> blah, 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 I can't even talk right now. <laughs> my bro Hammer and I will... Are almost... Well, we're I, probably not that far in the recording uploads on it, but I'm going to be resume uploads on it shortly, but... Um, we're about... At this juncture in recording, we have 107 stars. We're just about Ooh. halfway there. But the second half, <laughs> we have to go through every single stage once again. Yay! Yeah. I always find, like, I always find that tedious. Anytime you have to revisit a stage more than, like, six times, mm -hmm. it's just tedious. It's it, it's old, and it's annoying. Yeah. And, like, don't, uh, don't get me wrong, Super Mario Sunshine did it, and they executed it perfect. Mm -hmm. Because each mission was individually divided up to be different. There was blue coins, there was red coins, there was, uh, like, spraying, what is it, Shadow Mario? Or, yeah, Shadow yeah. Mario. Uh, there's not having flood, uh, there's getting the hundred coins, mm -hmm. As, like, the whole game is very diverse, but, uh, well, I can't... 
it's just an enhanced version of Mario 64. They just added some yeah. story to it. And, and this is going through it without any fire firepower, so I'm going... Yeah, I'm just kind of speedrunning this crap here. Ooh. Just trying not to get hit. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get hit by that octopus back there. Yeah. Don't they uh, sink down intentionally to hit you? Yeah, well, they sink to your level. That's pretty much the, you know... Oh, so they only sink... This. They only kind of sink to your level and then, like, shoot up. Yeah, well, if you hear a rim shot there, yeah, that's pretty much what they do. I mean, it's the pun. It's the pun of the blooper, pretty much. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they sink to your oh. level. That's how they see like that. They're sinking to my level right there. <laughs> uh, and, 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 I I don't have anything to say about that. Uh, I really don't. And I don't want to go any further in detail of that either. So don't worry about that it. That was uh, that was quite deep of you to say that though. <laughs> as, as you know, uh, Arisa, I'm pretty random when you least expect it. I mean, that's you, get, you have to c catch me on an off day, pretty much. But I did yeah. get my fire uh, power back with Mario, so that's you know I didn't show it there, but I did yeah. get it back and keep it through seven four. But you're really blazing through this. Yeah, this is just. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, uh, they throw in Koopas, and of course they do the same lost levels. They add Goombas to it too. You know, with the flying cheap cheeps, and that's just a living nightmare. Uh, yeah, I, I was just on a roll with those puns. It was, it was so <laughs> worth it. I haven't been making like in my episodes. I try to make puns, but a lot of the time I'm too focused on the game. Yeah, well. The you take your focus and you, like you, if I did post commentary like I used to do um, yeah. I did that for a lost Link adventure too I think yeah um, I right, come well, up with a lot of puns and here we are in seven four yeah this is the second maze um, world no, this is where you were talking about in the last episode oh yeah this thing you hear the dings there you're going the right way I didn't I think I kind of showed off in the last in Luigi run or something I don't remember yeah, but this is where it could get a bit confusing there because you have to go bottom, middle, top, in that area, or it just sets and repeats. Yeah, it sets and repeats. Oh, that's really annoying to me. And of course, you got another hammer throwing Bowser here. And he shoots fireballs, doesn't he? Not this one. No, World oh, Eight. He, in World Eight, he does both. Does it? Does it ever change to like the Fire World or no? No. Because that'd be uh, pretty hot if it did. Yeah, it would. I, I think. In, Mario 3 they did that, but not in this one. Yeah, in Mario 3 it looked like hell. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a hell, yeah. Uh, they, they get they they give you another definition of hell in that, you know, game. But this is Luigi Run. I don't think I did anything different. I just kind of put a same state, but I just showed it because this is basically the last episode. And I'm kind of nice about showing both runs. Probably 8-1, I'm going to show one run, but 8-2 and 8-3 and 8-4, I'll show both runs. Yeah. Since this is the final um, episode of this game. This, yeah. This whole, uh, well, I was going to say series, but no, it's not the end of the series because yeah, you okay. still have, uh, what is it? I'm going to be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing Mario, the Lost Levels, quote unquote, Mario Brothers 2 from Japanese. And Mario Brothers 2 of the US of A, I'll be doing that. I'll be doing both the, um, Super Nintendo and the GBA version because I thought the Ooh. GBA version is pretty hilarious and how they did the Birdo. No spoilers oh. on the, that one. I'm gonna have to look that up after we're yeah. done here. Yeah, like, I, I could look it up on my phone, but I, I don't want it to right now. <laughs> It'd be faster on my computer, so. I think they kind of uh, made Birdo a little bit more funny, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Is it spoiling. a bit more flamboyant? Or? I think it is. I think with the GBA version they made it a little bit more flamboyant, yeah. Uh, isn't, like, hold on, Birdo is, like, Yoshi's, like, what? Kind of the alter ego, almost. Oh, I, I thought they were, like, dating or something in the world. I, I didn't know. I was like, what? I, I, don't, I mean, so many images come out of my mind on that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, I'm sorry to traumatize you like that. Isn't, uh, <laughs> Birdo's, like, uh, what is it? A transgender, I think. <laughs> If I believe correctly, it's a transgender um, dinosaur, and uh, 
whenever they first had that, and what it was a, it was a Mario, it was Doki Doki Panic, but Mario Something Bros. Two like for that, the U.S. Yeah. I, um, I, this is Aerosol, not me on this one, guys. Yeah, I yeah, this is me. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, He's kind of taking the commentary from here for a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I believe um, Birdo was a transgender in that game, and after that, whenever they re-implemented him or her in the other games, they didn't know what to do about it, and so they kind of just were like, yeah, it's transgender. <laughs> and... Like, no one thinks about it because it's a fucking dinosaur. I mean, who's gonna be like, that dinosaur is a yeah. transgender? <laughs> well, they um, say Yoshi is a she in some instances, and it's a he in others, and it's like, oh, man. <laughs> Which uh, is it? <laughs> yeah, another thing about Yoshi, is that a shell on its back, or is that like a horse saddle, or what yeah, is Yeah, I know, I know, I, I, I think of the same thing, too, I just don't... I mean, I, uh, the whole time I was playing Yoshi Island, I thought, what the heck is that? Are they like, born like that with uh, saddles and shoes or something? Yeah, where the <laughs> fuck does it get a pair of shoes at? Do they just come come with the birth? Are they like, uh, are they like Sonic's gloves? Uh, they if, probably eat some shoes and saddles or something as a diet uh, or whatever. <laughs> That remind me of an episode of what is it? The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Whenever uh, there's an episode, I don't know if you've ever watched it, but Eggman sneaks into Sonic's house and literally steals his shoes. He could have fucking murdered Sonic, but he steals his shoes instead. Makes no sense. Oh jeez. <laughs> you should have just put an end to them there, but no. Oh, uh, it, it's so funny and. Uh, Apparently Sonic can't run fast without his shoes, but I believe this was a uh, this I that idea was scrapped at one point in time because uh -huh. there is I think an episode of Sonic X where Sonic can run really fast without his shoes. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't seen many of the cartoons with tails. And I haven't seen many of the cartoons. Oh, if you've ever watched my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play, I fucking hate Tails' voice. It's so annoying. Tells no, his voice right. actor was yeah, high. I, like, I, his voice was super high. Yeah. And this is one of those instances where I get a fire flower, and but, it, it gets it turn, just turned to Super Mario, which should really suck. But I, this is a different take. I you man, In another take, I kind of survived with the fire flower, so you'll see in, probably in the next scene Mario with a um, powered up more. So just kind of a disclaimer there, too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because this world took me a little bit longer just to edit. It took me about two hours to edit. Ooh. Because I had so much to, you know, so many fails to weed out and all that yeah. stuff. I, I just took the best what I can get without... I just so, kind of... Uh, I, I was kind of getting frustrated <laughs> with this. I mean, it was just so bad when I did the recording. Uh... Yeah, uh, a lot of these re eh, levels kind of repeat. I think it goes like what, four ice worlds and then four normal like green worlds from the look of it. Maybe maybe the seasons did change well, a bit. In, but. In, in, in the next one, of course, it's eight three. You know, it, they. I thought this was probably one of the best thing they did in these um, this upgrade. You know, with the Super Mario Brothers. You know, with the background, but I do show the Luigi run, so this you will see the Luigi run here. Yeah, it's the same thing. I did the same, about the same amount of thing. We go down that pipe further up because really it doesn't take you further ahead. It just takes you maybe you know a whole scene ahead. Oh, so you just reminded me. Of I don't that. know. Wh I don't know what happened there. I, I jumped up and I th I didn't. I think I hit it with a fireball, but it, uh, it, like you just seemed to self-destruct or something like that. He was like, you know what? It was close enough. I'll give you an E for effort. <laughs> it, was just, it was just so bizarre. When I looked at that again, I'm kind of like, what the hell happened here? That, like, that's how I am with a lot of my recordings. I'll go back and I'll listen to myself. I'll be like, what the hell was I thinking? Yeah, really. <laughs> like, I'll be like, that was stupid of me to say. And some episodes, I, like, intervene myself. And I'm like, nuh-uh, stop being stupid. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> I just do what Nintendo Capri Sun does. Yeah. With the, uh, second audio. And, yeah. I, I only did, like, two or three episodes of it because I didn't want to burn it out. Damn. Oh, I hate jumps like this. Yeah, too they, risky. They ha they make you do them. 
whether you like it or not. And pretty much every time, with whatever character you are, it changes the background icon to that character. Uh, that's that's the one of the best things they did with this, you know, the 16-bit. And I think it's... I, I mean, I like how they... Alright, maybe with the Super Mario Deluxe, which is basically the Super Mario 1 with the quote-unquote special add-ons, the special challenges, but I doubt that I'll LP it, but if I do, I'm... I'm sure I had a gun barrel in my head or something like that because really, I mean, I don't know what I'll be thinking if I did that. Yeah. Unless I was dared to do it, but <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even gonna go there at this point. Oh, I, I don't know if it was. Uh, I don't think it was on recording. Whenever uh, we were talking about that last episode, um, Paladin's gonna do the Wind Waker Oasis. Oh yeah. Like all the puzzles in it. Yeah. And whenever he does that, I'm going to do. <laughs> Whatever game he wants, doesn't matter what game it is. I'm going to play through it as long as I own it. I'm going um, to It can be on an emulator or anything. I'm going as to long as I can record it. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him now. I'm just kidding. Now, um, this this is where this is the look at the background on this one. I thought this is the best, the best this? level in the entire game with, with this upgrade in the background. Um, that they, is quite a big wall. I will well, tell you why. Well, see, because, you know, in the original, they had this nothing but bricks as the background. Oh, yeah. And, I, I see. But, it, where they changed it. Yeah, and it, it, this is just so awesome how they did it. It's, With the super, original Super Mario Brothers 2, they had, because I don't know if you've ever seen, you know, in the sky, they had brick forts up in the sky, too. They took that out. Oh, I, uh... I don't, I don't think I've ever played Super Mario Bros. 2, actually. Maybe I have. Uh, well, well, the, uh, or, ja that, well, I was talking to refer to the Japanese one. Oh, which is the then no. Levels, I, I've but... never. I've played the uh, Doki Doki Panic. Yeah. I, I, Doki I, Doki I, Panic is a game that just makes you want to pull your hair out. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll give you the link to someone who did the long play of that one, but, you know. Ooh. Is it a speedrun, or is it just a normal it, it's, long play? It's a long play, which they took about an hour and a half to do all the worlds and stuff like that. Hmm. I, I'll kind of describe the differences when I start the LP, but um, right now we're kind of running out of time. But I, I oh, did, yeah. I did show the Luigi run as well, so we'll just have a little more time with that. Oh, um, this is what anxiety is made of right here. Yeah. These fucking blocks. Oh. Yeah, they kind of give you one last try to spaz, and if you don't spaz before you hit the flagpole, you're okay. <laughs> uh, but knowing it, me, I would I would have messed it all up. But here's the and, Louis, uh, Louis, Louis D run. I kind of put, put another safe state here. When you said we were running out of time, I thought you meant like me no, and no, you on no, this no, video, no, 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 but no. you were talking about the time no, in we, the game. No, we got we got about eight minutes left. Don't worry, boy. Yeah, <laughs> we have uh we have plenty of time here. Yeah, because World 8-4 is going to take a little bit of um, effort to explain it all, Ooh. so... World 8-4 is probably going to be the only really challenging one for you. I, um, I guess I could go ahead and just explain it. Um, if you're crazy about going down pipes, you might as well get uncrazy, because that is the last thing you would want to do unless you're choosing the right pipe in here. Um, because some of those pipes in the, in the next world will take you directly to the beginning and you would not want to repeat the stage over again if you're running out of time. Oh, that's very true. Um, uh, I'll, show you which, new... I'll show you which pipe they'll take you to here in just a moment because we're kind of finishing this one though, but... Um, not only that, in the new Super Mario or Super Luigi Bros or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, I believe they cut the time limit on that game, so yeah. every world starts with 100 seconds, and yeah. immediately it starts counting down, and it's really intense. Uh, the Runaway guys are doing that, and I was like, couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> couldn't do it, I'd just get too nervous. Yeah, well, and it, it, they do put some pressure on you whenever you have to... But I think they condensed the stages to where you could actually finish them. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, I see. They uh, probably uh, cut them short. Now, other this is out. what I was talking about a, a while ago. I don't think you remember. Look at the background. The Those, thunder? The thunder and the lightning. Oh. All right. Wow. All right, That's so something that, you don't see in castles is uh, usually the pipes. Yeah. All right. Just a word of warning. Don't go down the, the first pipe here. You go back to the beginning. 
Because if you go down the wrong pipe, you'll go immediately to those back, the back to that first one, and you have to start the whole freaking stage over again. Oh, wow, well, that is so. If you tedious. don't go, if you don't go on the right pipe, you'll have to repeat this. You know, the, it's kind of like the seven four, where you had to go through the right layer. But because oh, yeah. you have to go, you have to go down the right pipe regardless. It's just you have to. Um, because if you have to, if you don't do it right, you have to start a section of the stage, this section of this stage over again. And you don't want to do that because, of course, you're time limited. Say if you gone forward, you would have repeated that, um, you know, that part of the stage again. So, and here you go. This is and? the flying cheap, cheap part of it. They come back with you with another ass biting kind of. Um, the God. I would get so fucking flustered with that. Yeah, um, and there's uh, some nice Bowser statues in the background. Actually, that's a pretty good uh, add-on there. That is the indication you're almost done, but you actually have to go through this water area just to complete the um, world or complete the level. I actually like the background in this. Yeah, um, it's quite cool. <laughs> and another very different Ninten Nintendo logic: fire bars underwater. Underwater, yeah. You think Mario would drown, but apparently not. He's just, yeah, nah. <laughs> so pretty much, in a uh, sw pretty much, if uh, Mario and Sonic was stuck underwater, Sonic would die. Mario would just be like, well, "What's the problem?" All right, so I accidentally take a hit here because I, you know, just Ooh. made a mistake. But you gotta watch out. Get to the oh, end. Wow. If you're getting hit, you might as well just book it and hit yeah, the axe. And <laughs> use the uh, your invincible state there and now, just hit that axe. Now, you're basically done. I mean, you was, at this point in the game, you would start at 1-1 in the special world as, you know, Big Mario, of course. But, yes, you get the difficult quest. We're not going to do that because um, uh, I, just, I don't think it's necessary because it's just a lot of more um, stuff to do. But here yeah. we go. We're going to do the final... This is the final section of the what? LP... With Luigi. Luigi. Yep, Luigi has his run. And I kind of just breeze through it because we all know you go down the wrong pipe, you'll end up at that first one back there. So you might want to yeah. be careful what you really go, which pipe you go down. Just uh, really count the pipes because that's what your main focus is in this level. And you'll just end up going one big circle if you just don't go down the right one. Yeah, that's all it is. And they'll have—it's the same way the lost levels. They have the same kind of design, but of course they made it more unique. But this more is about challenging. Yeah. Well, this is about the only level, only Bowser level where you can actually go down pipes. I mean, other ones you can never do go down pipes. This is the only one that you actually do. Yeah. This. Uh, and it's the only one with flying cheap cheeps from fucking lava. I think. Yeah. Too. Well. <laughs> Evidently, they decided to bring that back in Mario 3. I don't know why, but because that was that those kind of stages always gave me a lot of you know trouble. Grief. I don't, know. Uh, I, I, I don't understand it, but you know they did. How does okay? Another thing, like how the hell does a fireball like not hurt an octopus? Like Bowser's fireballs. Don't hurt him, but yours does. Yeah, that's another one of those Nintendo logic you think my jigs. Friendly know. fire. They <laughs> the don't Koopa Troopas. Yeah, they don't believe in friendly fire. That's pretty much the case. They can knock into each other, but now listen to Ooh. the music. You have a bit more intense music. He's spitting out fire. And he's hammers. A, but he's in hammers, but I just kinda let the music go a little bit. I mean it's a bit more intense than um yeah. others, but now, just kind of went quiet there now, for, wait for a the minute. music. Wait a minute, you're not Daisy. What the hell? I'm getting out of here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, it's Luigi. It's Luigi. Yeah, she's just like, oh, hi, Mario. I mean, <laughs> Luigi. Um, have you seen Mario? Uh, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> it's, it's like that awkward brother. Like, yeah. you know how your brother has a girlfriend or something, and like, it's only you two in the room, and it's very fucking awkward? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is like that. That's what it is. With Luigi and, yeah. like, Peach. That's it, the best way I can describe it. Yeah. Well, and 
basically to just show you a little bit at the end here but this wraps up of course the Mario Bros one it's just that's just extra quest if you want to do that on your own that's fine um, that's totally up to you. I am not going to show it because I really don't think it's necessary. Yeah, um, we, ju we just went through this whole game, so <laughs> yeah, we just went through <laughs> all this in whole one game. sitting. All in one sitting. We did four episodes all in one sitting. Here, we're kind of having yeah. both tired a little bit. Uh, I I'm <laughs> exhausted. I'm still going to probably play Metroid or something, and then yeah. fall asleep. I don't know. It all depends. I might edit or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, in the next episode, um. We will take on the uh, Lost Levels, starting with 1-1, and it will be a Luigi game. Um, I will be no, there will be no co-commentators through the rest of this LP. I just had co-commentators because uh, this one, I think Mario 1 was a bit straightforward. There wasn't really anything to, you know, show except, you know, maybe the extra paths you can take, but... I brought and errors. a few like like secret bonuses yeah. and stuff and the one up tricks. And I need about it. I needed someone to talk to, so it's kind of like okay, I'll bring Aerosol in here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was gracious like, enough to do this with me. So, oh, uh, anytime I'll commentate. Anytime for you. All right. Uh, anytime right. you want to commentate on anything, just uh, send me a message or tweet, and I am. definitely. Yeah, if those other let's players, I mean, ask them. He's a very good. Co-commentator, yeah. well, anything, um, so... Pretty much, if anyone wants to co-commentate, just message me, I'll, I'll most likely be like, yeah, let's do it! Yay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah! Yeah, <laughs> because I'm always down to do that. It's always fun. Yep, in the next episode, we'll take on the Lost Levels. It'll be a Luigi game, complete th playthrough of it. Um, I've been Captain Pound LP. I've been Aerosol LP. Uh, thank you, Aerosol. Really appreciate it. Uh, no problem, anytime, man. And uh, we'll see you with episode 5, starting with the Lost Levels. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Catch bye. you guys later.